Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for putting all the likes on the videos. I do appreciate it. You keep me going. All right, let's get into this. We're watching this tropical wave moving right through the Caribbean. Still not seeing any immediate signs of development. That is great news. Watching over toward the Gulf of Mexico and more tropical waves, of course, coming off the coast of Africa. So I'll get into the wide view on that. Let me zoom down a little bit here. Watching out for some areas of rain and storms and watching some near uh, Providencia, San Andres, over toward Honduras and Nicaragua. And we've seen those spotty showers across uh, the uh, Caribbean, especially the Dominican Republic now south side, even the south side of Jamaica as we go throughout the day. You see that blob right there. Now, as we zoom down to this, sometimes this looks a little bit worse than it is. It, it is going to bring us the potential of some flooding, but it's not like this right here is the system. It is an elongated system that stretches all the way down to basically South America. So this is just kind of a flare up. We saw that yesterday near the British and Euro, uh, U.S. Virgin Islands as well. It, it's, it's a broken area, so it's not one uh, just uh, area that is going to blow up into this massive hurricane. I know I've seen a lot of stuff out there about that. Slow development is possible. I'll get into the most likely track on that. And then watching this spot here, not so much this area here, but this area right here as well. So a couple spots that may develop. Early indications are this will kind of just trek into some drier air, and that's been the key for this hurricane season, right? I think we were talking about it in January when I did a video, and it was looking like it would be a bad hurricane season. I was mentioning that one of the biggest wrinkles would be some of the dry air, and I've seen that before uh, doing this uh, for decades. Sometimes you get extra dry air, some of that dust around, and the dry air is sinking air. That is more stable air. So as these tropical waves run into that, they weaken, and that has been a, a fortunate scenario for us so far this hurricane season, of course, not losing sight of the impacts that, of course, Beryl and Ernesto and, and Debbie brought uh, many of us. So, uh, but as of now, it's been a little bit quieter. Now, most likely path of this tropical disturbance, and you can see down the road, a couple days ago, I had it forming into a tropical storm in the Western Caribbean. Right now, I'm not quite sure that's going to happen. Just keeping it that strong tropical disturbance moving across. So that is better news for, say, uh, us in Jamaica. I'm not seeing signs that this is going to flare up quickly and just slam into Jamaica or anything like that. We are going to see the increased chance of rain, which would lead to the increased chance of flooding of course. And then down the road, if it stays weak, it may just run its way into parts of Belize, Honduras, and Mexico. If it does get its act together and start to spin up, that would lend to more of a northerly track. But that's where it stands right now. So I'm going to show you the scenarios, but that's my forecast for you. Uh, keeping it a tropical disturbance for at least the next three days, and then we'll wait and see what happens. Uh, but I do want to show you the scenarios just to give you an idea of everything I'm seeing behind the scenes. Now, we're no longer in monitor mode, the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. I don't don't see it developing before it moves closer to Jamaica. Do I see the higher chance of rain? Yes, and we'll get into that with the forecast, of course. But we are in monitor mode now from Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, down through Belize, and into Honduras. What does that mean? It doesn't mean we need to take action. I don't want to waste anyone's time and resources. I'm hoping that these videos uh, help with safety and lower anxiety. Even when a storm's coming, I, I don't like uh, the entities that kind of add to that. These are uh, anxious times enough. Uh, monitor mode just means we're kind of spreading the word. Hey, there's a strong tropical disturbance there's a chance it may spin up into a tropical storm. Not a guarantee that happens. I don't even have that in my most likely track I just showed you, but some slow development. Once the area gets near Jamaica, it may gradually start to uh, spin up, but at the least that's going to bring us some uh, heavier rain, some gusty winds at times, which would lead to the flood, sl uh, flood slide. I keep saying that. We're going we're gonna to have to uh, uh, trademark that word. Flood and mudslide threat. Uh, Honduras, Belize, and Mexico, and we'll fine tune it. So monitor mode now, parts of Central America over toward uh, the Yucatan. So again, thank you for getting the word out. That doesn't mean action. It means just we're kind of watching to see what happens, just kind of on higher alert. Now the ICON model, the American model, and the European model now all have this as uh, either nothing or maybe a tropical depression or low-end tropical storm. The Canadian model does have this becoming a tropical storm eventually as it gets toward the Bay of Campeche and into the uh, western Gulf of Mexico. So we are going to see this working its way across in the potential development. But I think about five, six days ago, almost all of these models were showing the possibility of a hurricane. Now, one of the reasons I'm watching out for any type of spin up, that heat content, the warm in deep water. By the way, if you hear any meowing, uh, I have a kitten at my feet. So uh, uh, she's, uh, she's wondering what's going on, I guess, as well with the uh, weather. Uh, but you see right here, the heat content that is warm and kind of warm deep water uh, that these things could feed off 
of, and that's not a good thing. And that's why we've seen things rapidly intensify, like what happened with barrel. But every situation is different. This is just one of many ingredients. That's kind of a bad ingredient. The wind shear is also going to be low. Uh, this map is nutty. I know up here where this red shading, that would be higher wind shear winds in the opposite direction. And that would rip apart showers and storms, uh, but the wind shear here is low and that allows those clouds to kind of really build up. Uh, in the storms to build up and the potential of development. So heat content, water temperatures, and the wind shear not in our favor, but I mentioned the dry air has really been around. There's not as much moisture up there. That's why there haven't been as many named systems this hurricane season. Now, we get a look at this. This is the European model, which has done the best job with this uh, area, showing some of that rain as we go through today. And then this is by tomorrow on our Wednesday. Some of the extra rain near Haiti, Dominican Republic, close to uh, eastern Cuba and Jamaica and still watching these other areas that surge in moisture near extreme uh, 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 eastern uh, Texas over toward parts of Louisiana and uh, uh, Mississippi. You see the rain there. Now as we work our way forward, this here is by Thursday. So extra rain in Jamaica, that's when that rain chance will pick up. We'll see the better chance of rain and storms in Jamaica Thursday and the Cayman Islands. At this point, it may start to try to at least develop. And then we have a few systems with these uh, fronts kind of working in here. And there's that other area. I mentioned that other area uh, back toward uh, the Atlantic uh, that will try to also develop, but uh, not a high concern at this point, but no, I'm watching it. Now, as we work our way into Friday, that's when the European model says, hey, this may try to develop into a tropical depression, but here's the thing. It will start to develop, but will it stay over water long enough for it to become Francine and the next name storm? Not quite sure it will, because right as it starts to develop, it hits that area of low wind shear, it starts to move closer to the Yucatan over toward Belize and Honduras. So the, the water is its fuel. So if it moves into land, it's gonna run out of time to uh, develop, but then eventually it will reemerge in the Bay of Campeche. You see again, some of the uh, heavier weather here, and that's when it could eventually try to or redevelop or develop for the first time over toward the Bay of Campeche in western Gulf of Mexico. That is a wait and see and still watching these areas out here in the Atlantic going forward. You see right there, this is by the time we get into deeper into next week. This here is a week from now trying to show a little spin up, but the European model then takes it in, uh, much like we saw earlier this season with a couple named systems uh, that moved into Mexico. So maybe a little development in the Bay of Campeche and then rolling its way into Mexico. So my friends in Mexico, uh, across the Yucatan and back toward Mexico proper, um, uh, seeing, uh, watching that uh, scenario. So here's the American model, which is very similar to the European model. Also doing a pretty good job with this. The Icon model, that's the one that's been way too aggressive. That's been off the mark. Uh, you see here, Here's that extra rain, and I'll zoom down in a moment to show you some of the rain near Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and you see this cluster of rain here, cluster of rain here, and watching what's going on, see right there. That's why I wanted to give you the wide view. This is by tomorrow, no signs of development, and let's go out in time further. This here is by Thursday, going step by step, and I wanna show you the winds with the American model in a moment. You see here, this is when it will start to uh, at least try to develop, uh, but it's already near Jamaica, the tropical disturbance, and then you see the cluster of rain and storms starting to work their way toward Belize and Honduras. And then this is Friday. Now at this point, uh, it, it kind of looks a little weird on the map. There's just a lot of rain around. I want to show you the winds. You could see a circulation. I'll do that in a moment to kind of look closer into this uh, area. This is by the weekend. You see the rain here. And then uh, for whatever reason, this model is showing some extra rain back toward the central Caribbean and even over toward Jamaica. That's not really the area that's spinning up. It would still be over here and then taking you out in time further. This is by the time we get into Monday of next week, just a lot of rain, maybe a tropical uh, depression somewhere in here. So this is by the time we get into Monday. And then this here is by the time we get into Tuesday. So about a week from now, somewhere in here, there could be a spin up. And that's what I'm watching. But that's why we're in monitor mode to have that early heads up. And you see it here with the winds. Now, in the short term, this is not an organized area. There's those blobs of rain that I showed you at the beginning of the video, but a little bit of white in here. Those would be some gusts that could get up to 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. There's a chance of that. So if you get some rain, of course, we're in the tropics. We'll get some gusty winds with it. We have a strong tropical disturbance sliding by gustier winds tomorrow that will be approaching Jamaica. And then look at a couple things 
here. We'll go from Wednesday into Thursday. I'll stop it here. Now, Thursday, it's really hard to find anything. Also watching this spot right here. That's that other area back in the Atlantic. But look at this with me. This is by Friday, starting to hint at a little circulation here and a circulation here. So Antigua and Barbuda and Guilla know that I'm watching St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, know that I'm watching that area that's over there too. But right there, this is what I wanted to show you. And there's not a lot with this, but this is by Saturday. I know it's hard to see, but if you look closely, the winds are uh, kind of, uh, you got that circular motion right in here. This is where we could get a tropical depression or a tropical storm potentially forming here and then kind of work its way in. And like the European model, it would really run out of time for a lot of development. But I know those waters are warm and things can spin up quickly. So that's what I'm keeping tabs on. All right, the, the sea is obviously elevated about two meters plus. So that's looking at seven feet plus. Northern, northeastern Caribbean, even working their way near the Turks and Caicos, a little choppier toward the southern Bahamas. Seas will be building near Haiti and the Dominican Republic today into tomorrow. This is by the time we get into Thursday, building near Jamaica. And then it will build in the Western Caribbean. It's not really reflected too much right here, uh, but seas will be, probably be a little higher than this in the Western Caribbean. And then there's that other spot. I'll see how close that gets to us. And Anguilla and Antigua and Barbuda, see how, how much that tries to develop. There's gonna be a lot of areas to track. We know it is September. Here's the closer look. So here's Belize, here's Honduras, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, uh, uh, over toward uh, St. Lucia, Dominica. Uh, 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 spotty showers and storms, but the bulk of this is now off toward the west. You see here, this will clip us by with some rain uh, today and tomorrow, Dominican Republic and Haiti, and then eventually this area of rain will work its way toward uh, Jamaica. It could even enhance some of the rain for us in eastern Cuba, so watching out for that. There could be a few downpours, but there's the increased rain in Jamaica on Thursday, but not seeing this huge name system that is moving in, and I love that. And then there's that other spot. You see it right there? That's the one that, that's kind of that first, I showed you those two tropical waves out there. That's the first of that batch. And then here's that rain that will work toward Belize, Honduras. And at this point on Friday, yeah, it could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm, although very good handle on that possibility as we get into tomorrow. So the next name on the list is Francine. There's no guarantee that this area becomes Francine. Right now I have it staying as a tropical disturbance in the Caribbean with a slight chance it does develop into a tropical storm before it moves into the Bay of Campeche. But either way, Francine, the next name on the list, then Gordon, Helene, Isaac, Joyce, and Kirk after that. So as far as rain goes, scattered areas of rain and storms, fortunately in the Bahamas, not as much. If you get a passing shower, uh, passing storm, 25 millimeters of rain, 10 to about 25 millimeters of rain, half an inch to about an inch of rain possible. But as we get on the south side of the Dominican Republic, you see some of the brighter colors. We could get a few spots today alone, 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. And then we'll just see how close this rain gets to Jamaica uh, in a couple days. It may stay to the south, may start to move in, but Thursday, we'd have that higher chance of rain across Jamaica. Puerto Rico, uh, there's no big major hurricane or anything uh, that is coming our way. Same thing, British and U.S. Virgin Islands. This tropical disturbance just uh, sliding by, and I'll watch what's going on off to the east and you get here Dominica through Trinidad, St. Vincent the Grenadines, Barbados. Uh, the rain chance it's not as high passing shower. Most of the moisture has moved off toward uh, the uh, east or rather west. Same thing Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname passing shower storm but Central America some higher totals and this is not good because we're gonna it's a wetter pattern in Central America back through Mexico uh, the next couple of days and then on top of it we're watching this tropical system so it's already very wet in some spots and if we add on a tropical system obviously Obviously, that means uh, the uh, flood uh, flooding potential and the uh, mudslide potential. So watching out for that. So let's get to the forecast. We're looking at scattered areas of showers and storms. But Thursday, not a washout, but that's the day in Jamaica. The rain chance will be going higher and then trending higher through the end of the week, especially Thursday and Friday in the Cayman Islands. But if this stays on track as of now, most of the rain would be just down to the uh, south. Scattered areas of rain and storms kind of on the backside of this tropical disturbance for Trinidad and Tobago. Barbados could get a few scattered showers and storms for us today. About a 40% chance uh, across St. Lucia. We're looking at a 30% chance tomorrow on Thursday, so it's not super high. I showed you those totals. Again, passing shower possible, one or two in Grenada today, and then the rain chance will be lower. 30 to 40% chance the next few days, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. About a 50% chance of a couple pop-up showers and storms in Martinique, and we'll do that again in Dominica. But look at that lower rain chance tomorrow and Thursday, only a 20% chance. Lower rain chance midweek as we swing back through Guadalupe. Now, I'll keep 
keep an eye on Antigua and Bermuda, more so that other tropical wave out in the Atlantic, but a couple spotty showers possible. 30% chance today, St. Kitts and Nevis and uh, Montserrat. 30% chance today in Anguilla, a 20% chance uh, in uh, St. Bart's. And we're looking at about a 40% chance of a few passing showers, possibility of that St. Martin, Seba, and Stacia today. Puerto Rico, 50% chance of rain since that tropical disturbance is closer. Could get a couple thunderstorms. 30 to 40% chance the next uh, two days. U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Bahamas, not as wet as the last few days, but there's still that moisture around. It's still that chance of isolated flooding, especially northern and central zones. Isolated chance in the Turks and Caicos, but there's that elevated chance uh, today, especially uh, central and southern areas of the Dominican Republic, and that 40% chance of Haiti really south of uh, Port-au-Prince. 30% chance of a shower in Belize. All eyes on what's going on to the east. We are in monitor mode in Belize. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, a slight chance of a passing shower over the next uh, two days before that rain chance really drops off even further. Uh, Guyana, 30% chance for today, and just a 20% chance the next two days in Suriname. 50% chance of some scattered showers and storms in Cuba with the daytime heating. There's the elevated chance Costa Rica and Panama, 70% chance. Rain chance 50 to 60% in Nicaragua, 40 to 50% chance in Honduras. And in Honduras, we are in monitor mode, and that does include San Andres and Providencia. So some of our islands, uh, Columbia, uh, Colombian islands, uh, watching uh, for this uh, system. Guatemala and El Salvador, rain chance is higher, and that's some of the extra flooding I was mentioning. Mexico City, too. High chance of rain, watching out for areas of flooding and about a 50% chance across the Yucatan, 30 to 40% chance in northern Colombia, and we're looking at a 40% chance the next few days as we work our way back through uh, northern Venezuela, but the rain chance not too high. Bermuda today, we're mainly dry, but you see that rain chance picking up with those areas coming off the uh, U.S. So a strong tropical wave moving west, watching out for any signs of development. There is that possibility it does try to develop into a tropical storm in the Western Caribbean, and those other tropical waves that I'm watching, those two in particular out there in the the Atlantic. We'll be tracking that together as we continue forward throughout the week. So monitor mode for some of us. I will keep you posted. Thank you for all those comments. I'll get to those throughout the day. Have a good rest of your day.